Hey everyone, welcome back to Ask the Pastors, where you ask the questions and your pastors try and answer them. Ray, how do you know that the Bible is the Word of God? That's one of my favorite questions. It's something that um, we deal with in apologetics, where we make a defense for the Christian faith, and we defend things like God exists, and Jesus is divine, and God and man, and that the Bible is the Word of God, one of the most foundational things that we can prove to people. And we need to do that because so much of what we talk about in the faith is found only in the Bible. And the Bible has been attacked and criticized through the years. Um, and so what I like to do is to begin with the Bible and to, and to show people that the Bible is a basically reliable book. That you can look at the Bible in an overview, or we can pick out any section, really, and you can begin to show how its claims, how its, uh, what it says about people and places and things and practices are all demonstrably true. Uh, and that really is amazing, because the Bible was written over a period of 15, more than 1,500 years by uh, over 40 different authors and in three different languages and on different continents. And yet, everything that the Bible says is true, and we can prove that it's true. And so, uh, I like to show examples in the past. Uh, one of my favorites is where um, critics used to say that in the 19th century, the Bible is false, and how do we know? Because the Bible has much to say about this great city, Nineveh, the capital of Assyria, and we know that there was no Nineveh, for they had not found it. Um, well, by the end of the 19th century, they found Nineveh, and they found that it was a great city. In fact, it was exactly as the Bible said in the book of Jonah, a three days journey through the city uh, in order to cover all of it, and that's what it would take. They found so much about Nineveh um, to prove the Bible is true. Another uh, example uh, that, that, again, was declared by experts and by skeptics to prove the Bible is false. The Bible mentions the last king of Babylon as Belshazzar. You all remember the story where he's having this great feast and they bring out the vessels from the temple and they're going to use them in their orgy and in their party. And in the midst of the feast, a hand writes on the wall that his days are numbered, that he's going to be removed. And, and that night, of course, he's overthrown. And no one would have thought Babylon could be overthrown by its, because of its high walls and its thick walls, but it happened that night. Well, Belshazzar is said to be the final king in the Bible, and yet they had discovered uh, pretty concretely that Nabonidus was actually the final king of Babylon. Well, uh, that, so that argument was used. The Bible's wrong. Well, what they found later was that Nabonidus was the emperor who was ruling uh, out and doing the affairs of the kingdom out in some other nation at the time Babylon fell, fell, and he left the kingdom under the care of his son, his oldest, Belshazzar. And it's interesting because when Belshazzar promises, whoever can decipher the writing on the wall will be, he doesn't say second in all the kingdom, he says third. Why would he say third? Because he was sharing the throne at the time with his father, who had named him co-regent while he was traveling in case something happened. So it was right. The Bible said uh, that Belshazzar was king, and he was king. We just had to learn a little bit more. There are so many things like this. Well, once we can show that the Bible is demonstrably true, then we can show that the Bible records the miracles of Christ and the signs and wonders that Jesus did. And we can show the eyewitness testimony and the accounts themselves how they are true. And once we've shown that, therefore, we've shown that the Bible, uh, which is basically reliable, records the history of this person, Jesus, who did miracles. And Jesus teaches that the Bible is the Word of God. And so we don't assume it. We don't argue in a circle. We don't say the Bible is the Word of God because Jesus said it's the Word of God. We show in a chain from, from bigger uh, truth to more specific truth that the Bible demonstrates itself to be the Word of God, both by what we begin outwardly and then when we get into the book itself, how it shows that Jesus was the Son of God by his miracles, and Jesus in his teaching declared the Bible to be the Word of God. And so we've proven it at that point. When the Son of God, Jesus, declares the Bible to be the Word of God, we do well to listen. The critics come and the critics go. One day they will all be dead and buried, but God's Word will remain. Christian, put your faith in God who speaks to you by his word. Well, that's it for Ask the Pastors. Please join us again.